Okay, welcome back to Monster Train. <laughs> right, we had that um, Shard Tail run earlier. The last win here. So let's jump right back in. Okay, another Shard Tail Queen. Oh, and the Patient. Starting off with Wilder Helpers, though. That's a good start. And then we have, oh no, Incant. Ah, uh, Rally. Ah. Uh. Hmm, hate this already. Inferno Sting Welder Helper. <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of start is that? Uh, yeah, yeah okay, we had the... Mm hmm okay. This might be the um, Blight combat, I think, maybe. Please give me sh toss. Oh my god, they did it again. Again. E are you for real though? Have to take royalty again there. Oh my. Ooh. Hmm. I think this is a little better. Right? Like this. Oh my. I mean, we only have these two stings. It's not like this is currently a full blown sting build, so. Should be fine here. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Possibly. Like this. I goofed. Um, that's a problem. Let me tell you. Ah. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Firmly keep in mind what floors you lose capacity on. Hmm. I'm actually more into the idea of this here then. Right. And then we should have this and that. Right. Very good. Okay. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Now another wilder helper, and then we should be okay at least. Get that out to reduce the. High damage taken there. Okay. And we're good. Hmm. Horn break though. Mm hmm. Taunting me here. <sighs> Razor sharp edge or vine grasp? Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I do like razor sharp edge. Um. Sure. What do we have? A large stone, battle stone, hard stone. Okay. Well. I think this looks like a husk comb. It's kind of. Right? I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> right? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. With quick, maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, with quick or multi strike. Probably quick would be better, honestly. Um, so. If we re roll, don't think we would have enough money to buy whatever goes he comes here so even if we get an endless here I think Ooh, okay I mean sure is it that good though yeah maybe So, this is serve the patient. So, a multi strike is like. What are you trying to multi strike? There's like one double heavy wave on serve the patient. And everything else, like the small units, just die. So, it's better to have a quick there. Very strange. Yeah, I think I like a quick more, honestly. Mm. I would have taken both the others, like Endless on a Wild Helper or Quick on the Husk Hermit. We can't do that, right? I don't think we can. Well, we have also the Stings. I think we can do it. Hopefully, we'll only take. Six or less here. Nope. I guess we'll take nine then. was a pretty good shot not to take that much there, but oh well. What am I playing here? I'm playing the Wilder Helper. I'm playing the Hornbreak to kill this Queen's Impling. And I'm playing this Razor Sharp Edge, I think. Stats. That's 3 energy. Okay. I think I'd put one in front here. 
That should tank like eight health. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> what a hand. Okay, this should be fine. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, for now, this is okay. Maybe hey, this is better, though. And then Restoration Detonation fits with the um, Husk Hermit, I think. Okay, okay, okay. What do we get? An Alpha Fiend? No! No, I don't want an Alpha Fiend. Ugh. Do I really put this Horn Warrior behind the Husk Hermit? That's a... B... Uh, B... <laughs> B units type floor. Ugh. I don't like this deck. Mm, there's a quick at least. Wow, what are these upgrades, dude? Dude. All these upgrades. Mmm. Petty theft this early. We are certainly lacking some backline killing potential. Well, not with the husk cub. No, so. Mmm. 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 So I think Heaven's Gold is good because like it feels to me like we'll have problems getting heavies currently. Like last time we had the insanely scaling uh, Shattered Shell but this time we only have the Husk Hermit and hopefully a better Horned Warrior. So you know they won't deal uh, 190 damage at any point, probably. <laughs> this is um, Shield Daedalus, I think. Yeah. This is a damage shield, right? Annoying. That means I probably do this just to Okay. Yikes. Okay. Put that behind because we draw the other welder helper here and 
you know. I wouldn't have space for it otherwise. Guess we might as well do this. I think we're pretty fine here. Uh, yeah, we have enough damage up here to deal with this. Um, sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Turn her into a tank? Uh, don't think so. Hmm. I don't like any of these. Spreading spores. Maybe. But that runs kind of counter to the. Endless Imps play. Hmm. I guess we are going here, but even if we get even if we get one of the uh, hollows, I don't think we would take it. Like even with spreading spores. Yeah, I think we we skip here, honestly. Very strange. Huh. <laughs> Wilting Sabot, that's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Those rare units you never see. Am I right? Hmm. Okay, so the thing is kind of as long as we have the, uh, as long as we don't have the imp removal, we don't want to take a tank uh, to put in front of the Shard Queen, really, because we want the imps there and they should then die, hopefully, <laughs> um, and yeah. I don't think Wilting Sap would fit here in any way. We also don't need much energy, to be honest. I think this is another skip. Hmm, let's consider these again. Shadow Shadow, we already have a properly upgraded sweep, so this wouldn't do much. Um, Alpha Fiend, we have nothing to put in front of them, so it also doesn't work out. And yeah, Wilding Sap would also doesn't really feel um, applicable here. Now, I'm kind of tempted to go energy here just because we have so many. Um, we have a lot of stuff that we want to play each turn, and we play some of these root seeds to get extra draws. Um, and also I think this is the Blight Arcus, uh, that's another reason here to go energy, energy and then draw probably. You can also just do draw here probably. Yeah, 
I might like that even better. We do want to play specific cards more often. And that kind of tailors itself towards draw then. Or like the other way around. What am I saying? <laughs> um, relic and removal or... I think we want to go here. Well. <laughs> we didn't even get a plus ten. Yikes. Hmm. Rather strange this uh, deck. Okay, let's see. I don't think, yeah, we don't take any of these. Please. Oh no. How am I supposed to kill these imps? Ah. Hmm, <laughs> 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 uh. what are we doing in the next ring? Going here. Okay, then. Let's just wait with the money. Ah, okay. I don't know, but it should be fun because we have the quick sweep. And uh, hopefully we can set up like bottom mid floor against this boss. They have the resolve gain damage. Nah, well, so much for that. doesn't change anything ah! neither does this of course okay and then you get this okay. Oh yeah, she gains health. Huh, right. Might as well, right? Hmm. <laughs> It's just nice. Get a okay. Yeah, we will just take eleven there. Sadly. Let's <laughs> not get crazy. Unfortunate. Ah feels so bad what the heck not being able to kill these that is ok 
Okay. That's not too... Encouraging, I'd say. Hmm. I guess. That 20 armor gave exactly the one round we needed. Okay, imp in a box. March of shit. Uh, well, no. Also, really not good. Imp in a box? Maybe it's much of shields here. Hmm. Wild Wood Custodian is of course always nice to have. Let's just take it. Hmm. Maybe we should go here. Like what are we looking to upgrade? I guess holdover on March of Shields or Hornbreak would be very nice. Or Razor Sharp Edge for no nah, well. Razor Sharp Edge not even that much. So holdover would be good. Anything else? Like minus ones are of course useful. Plus tens for horn break and restoration detonation. Remove consume, nah. Uh double stack, nah. Uh freeze, nah. Maybe on Inferno. Maybe we should go here then. Oh. I think that's pretty good. I don't think we'll reroll here though. Rather remove one card. Fifteen. Fifteen is fine. Fifteen is kind of only important on the heavies, right? If I draw this guy, turn one, then we're just fine. And I guess you go here. How much? 55? Sadly we didn't get a... an imp here, but... this... We'll do fine, and then... 
I don't know. Let's keep the draw. Mm. Uh. Not like that one bit. Hey, yeah, yeah. I think we might die here. Like that's that damage output. That should be... Nope, this is looking per terrible. Yep. <sighs> the pyre like nearly does it, honestly. I mean, look at that. Mm, 56 damage. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, I guess it's gonna be a short one today. Shardtail Queen is so strange. Like, I don't get how to play her if you don't. Like, rally, okay, but then. What? You're just gonna play some Queen's implings in front of her and. Just hope that she magically survives the boss fight? Or I mean what's the strategy? Is it just for killing heavies? Hmm. Yeah, I mean maybe that is her place in that rally build. Just play one or two imps in front of her each turn or so <coughs> and then have her kill an a uh, heavy unit, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's strange. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> um, leave a like if you did, subscribe to see future episodes. And click the bell to be notified when they go up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.